So today I've got a little project, bad carb on this Ryobi HT26 Hutch trimmer. So I actually got it started, but it runs terrible. This unit's from 2015. Doesn't idle, you hit the gas, you get nothing. I just power washed it, hit it with degreaser, cleaned it up, uh, but I've got a replacement. So this was from HIPAA. And basically what I did was I looked up Ryobi HT16, so hedge trimmer, or I mean HT26, so a hedge trimmer probably 26 cc uh so that's what i went with this i talked to hipaa and this is what they led me to get all right let's see how to put it in should be pretty simple just one two bolts these are eight millimeter and two fuel lines that should work so one thing is i'm not a big ryobi fan but this was from a co-worker so i said yeah i'd take it doesn't hurt. And that carburetor is like 20 some dollars. Something funny. This is the actual air filter. This is almost a joke. First, I thought like somebody, you know, changed it, but that is it. So, not too much there. Just keep the line straight. And then actually this, I twist it off a few turns. I can just kind of pull everything all at once. So, didn't come with any gaskets, so let me gently pull this off. Let me get a razor blade to get that off. Oh, shoot. This looks like it's cracked yeah this is cracked well let me clean this off glue it together and then I'll put the carb back on I mean the new carb on all right so I actually use glue to put that back together because I'm not going to spend the time to go through this and do an amazing, amazing job. It's a cheap piece of Ryobi machinery. So the gasket, I took it off the back, used a razor. This is the new carb from HIPAA. The main thing is that needs to be sealed and, you know, if these are broken on the side, it's fine. It needs to be sealed there and along those little dots. So looks like either one is okay. I don't remember which way this came off. That's lined up. And that's lined up either way you put it on. So let's just put it on. It goes back there. This was the top one. That's why I had it towards the top. This was the bottom one. I had it towards the bottom. And who knows, maybe I'll have to adjust this some. But that's good for now. Air cleaner needs to go back. Same way it came off. started I took my one glove off it's kind of hard sometimes with oil to be able to start stuff or feel it so let me finish all right put both of those bolts back on put the air filter in and now 
put the carb cover. Let's start it up and see if it rubs it. All right, so let's do, it's full choke down. When you squeeze it on this, it goes up. I don't know why, but I've never seen that. Let's get fuel going. Watch it. It's on. up a tiny bit more. So I will just adjust the high end a tiny bit. It's right there, but that's it. Or I might just leave it. Honestly, it might not just be warmed up enough because it hasn't really run that much. So we'll see as I'm using it, but that's it. That's how you replace the carburetor on a Ryobi HT26 with a unit from HIPAA.